Have you ever delved into classic horror films? If not, you're in for a treat. This old-time scary flick from 1935 is a real gem in the horror genre. It's not just spooky, it's also funny, shocking, and even a bit sad at times. Stick around for some interesting tidbits. When did you first catch sight of this movie? Was it during a late night scare fest with friends or maybe on a cozy evening at home? The movie picks up where its predecessor left off. The mad scientist is at it again, creating another monster this time, a mate for his first creation. But things don't go as planned, leading to chaos and mayhem. One of the most memorable scenes is when the new creation is brought to life. It's a chilling moment that has been spoofed and talked about countless times in pop culture. Do you have a fond memory or personal story connected to this film? Share it with us below. So if you're in the mood for some vintage horror with a mix of laughs and tears, give this film a watch. You won't be let down. Released in 1935, a certain film not only scared audiences, but also changed how people viewed horror movies forever. It brought humor and deeper emotions into the genre, making viewers think and feel beyond mere fright. This movie introduced novel elements, leaving an everlasting mark on cinema. Its influence is evident in numerous other films, TV shows, and books, as well as in Halloween festivities and theme park attractions. The story remains relevant today, touching on themes of love, rejection, and what it means to be human. In a world where identity and acceptance are constant concerns, the tale of the bride and her creator continues to speak to audiences worldwide, reminding us of our own humanity, desires, and fears. In the world of classic horror, there are fascinating connections and mysterious details that add layers to the stories we love. For instance, Boris Karloff, known for his memorable role in a famous scary movie, shares a special bond with his daughter Sarah Karloff. They both have birthdays on the same day. It's a neat coincidence that makes their family even more interesting. Similarly, Dwight Fry, who played a spooky character in another well-known horror film, had a lasting impact beyond the screen. His presence not only scared audiences, but also inspired a famous music group. They wrote a song called The Ballad of Dwight Fry as a tribute to his creepy performance. In the credits of that movie, there's a mysterious mention of a character called the monster's mate, but with a question mark. It's a small detail that makes you wonder about the story even more. All these connections and mysteries in horror movies create a fascinating web of stories and inspirations that keep captivating audiences generation after generation. Following its release, several notable events involving the cast came to light. In 1953, John Carradine faced legal trouble due to alimony payments, resulting in a brief jail term. Boris Karloff, in 1956, showcased his knowledge on children's fairy tales as a contestant on the 64,000 question, winning 32,000 before quitting due to tax concerns. Despite a budget initially set at $293,750 for a 36-day shoot, production costs soared to $397,023.79. In the realm of acting, Gavin Gordon was widely known for his impressive British accent, effortlessly slipping into roles that showed sophistication and elegance. Whether playing a smooth gentleman or a noble figure, his acting was always spot on, capturing audiences' attention with every word. His skill with the English language made his performances feel genuine, earning him a special place among top actors of his time. Meanwhile, Elsa Lanchester amazed audiences with her incredible versatility and talent for transforming into various characters. From her memorable role as the charming and quirky Mary Poppins to her unforgettable performance in The Bride of Frankenstein, Lanchester could play just about anything. Her presence on screen was magnetic, drawing viewers into the stories she portrayed with depth and skill. And then there was Boris Karloff, a towering figure in horror movies. His home in New York's historic, the Dakota building was as mysterious as the characters he played. From the frightening presence of Frankenstein's monster to the eerie allure of Imhotep in The Mummy, Karloff's performances left a lasting impression on the world of cinema. With each role, he brought a sense of fear and fascination, shaping the genre for years to come. In their own unique ways, Gavin Gordon, Elsa Lanchester, and Boris Karloff each made a significant impact on acting, shaping the world of movies for future generations. Boris Karloff, known for his role in Frankenstein, made waves with his breakthrough performance. In a preview for the film, the emphasis on Frankenstein Returns may have led to misconceptions about the monster's name. Elsa Lanchester played the enigmatic bride, with anticipation building over her appearance. Walter Brennan, offered a role in Herbie Rides Again, was unable to take it due to illness. He passed away not long after the movie's release. 
In the realm of classic films, one actor stands out for his unforgettable portrayal of a famous preacher. His last words spoken to his wife while he battled illness were unexpected. They were not about his famous role, but about someone else entirely. Despite being known for playing the creature in several movies, he only did so in a few. One of these films was called The Bride of Frankenstein. During its production, he faced challenges, even losing weight, and needing breaks between scenes. These difficulties show how committed he was to his craft. In the end, he left behind a remarkable mark on cinema. In the classic movie, The Bride of Frankenstein, Dr. Pretorius isn't just a smart scientist. He admits that wine and cigars are his only weaknesses, showing he's human like the rest of us, despite being a bit mad. Behind the scenes, actor Walter Brennan, who worked with director Howard Hawks, did something unexpected to help Hawks remember things while they were filming. Brennan's dedication to acting and his unique way of helping his director show the teamwork and creativity involved in making movies. The actors chosen for the film also add to its depth. Valerie Hobson plays Dr. Frankenstein's fiance with a youthful innocence, which contrasts with Colin Clive's experienced performance as Henry Frankenstein. Their age difference adds more layers to the story, making it even more interesting. These little details like characters' weaknesses and stories from behind the scenes make The Bride of Frankenstein a rich and fascinating movie for viewers to explore. In a story that spans decades, The Bride of Frankenstein shows the remarkable skills of its actors. Walter Brennan, famous for many movie roles, worked with director William Wyler on six films, including The Bride of Frankenstein. Boris Karloff, a key member of the Screen Actors Guild, dealt with Hollywood's union issues by carrying a bunch of coins in his pocket to be cautious of phone taps. Ernest the Siger, known for his odd habits, used to leave flowers at the feet of a good-looking doorman at the Savoy Hotel in London. These stories give us a peek into the lives of the people who brought these characters to life in this famous movie. In a touching moment, he gently places his hand on the hermit's shoulder as they both cry, lit up by the glowing cross nearby. Their silent connection says a lot, even without words, in the dimly lit room. Walter Brennan, a well-known actor, stands out for winning two Oscars under the same director's careful guidance. His skill in acting makes every scene meaningful, capturing what it means to be human. Meanwhile, Elsa Lanchester, known for her talent and hard work, talks about the difficult makeup process for her character. It took three long hours to shape her face, while Boris Karloff's transformation took five painful hours in makeup. Every brush stroke, every piece of makeup, showed how much effort and care went into making the film eerie and beautiful. These backstage stories make the classic tale even more interesting. They show the dedication and skill behind every scene. It's these glimpses behind the scenes that make us care more about the characters and the story. The Bride of Frankenstein, with its timeless messages and unforgettable acting, keeps people interested, its impact lasting for a long time. 